Uh, hello everyone, welcome to my video. Uh, today I would like to introduce the protection uh, mechanism, protection circuits uh, inside the e-tracer. Um, so as a tube tester, it, it is very important to uh, have protection circuit because uh, uh, once out of 1000 we might have the bad, a bad tube that has a, a short uh, inside the tube for example uh, i've seen a broken uh, recidivifier and uh, the broken filament uh, touch the plate and it create a short pass uh, from the plate to the uh, to the uh, the caster okay so that kind of uh, situation we don't want the the the, uh, the short uh, to damage the uh, PCB, so we need uh, some uh, uh, major to prevent that. And uh, um, also because of the uh, the connection of the uh, the e tracer is using a lot of wires, so uh, and uh, it happened to me a couple of times that I made the uh, wrong wiring, and also I might have uh, uh, I might uh, accidentally short the uh, the uh, uh, the plug to the the, the chassis. Which is the ground to the PCB, and uh, in that case, we also want to avoid damage to the board. So, um, uh, protection circuit is a, a very uh, spend a lot of time in the development of the uh, protection circuit uh, in e tracer. So, um, let me uh, demonstrate how the uh, protection circuit circuit works. Okay, so I'll, uh, I'll start with the heater supply. So. Um, here we have a uh, 12x7. Plug in. Download the uh, uh, configuration file. Connect and uh, turn on the heater. Okay, so here we can see the heater uh, is supplies turned on. The voltage voltage is. Uh, uh, close to 13 volts here the current is uh, uh, 0.2 amp okay so uh, now I disconnect the uh, heater so these two terminals are the uh, the output of the heater supply and our short circuit in okay so we can see the uh, the voltage drop to 2 volt and the current is uh, 6.2 amp okay so uh, there is a uh, current limit circuit building in e tracer. So um, the uh, e tracer relies on the uh, the protection circuit inside the uh, bulk con uh, controller uh, used for the uh, heater supply. So um, the uh, the the bulk controller it's a DC DC controller. It has a uh, uh, building uh, current limiters, current limit circuit, and as well as uh, a temp over temperature temperature protection so under normal condition uh, the, the chip will never uh, blow up and I also have a, a 5 amp slow blow uh, um, a fuse connected to the output of this uh, heater supply so uh, in a rare case if the uh, there's something happened to the uh, the, uh, the the DC DC converter there's uh, also the fuse will will uh, act as a, 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 another layer of protection for the uh, uh, the heater output. Okay, so now let's move to the negative uh, uh, the protection circuit for the uh, negative supply. So let me connect the uh, 12x7 for testing. Okay, so I also uh, connect the output of the uh, the negative supply here. So later I can uh, short it to ground. Now let's uh, start curve scan. Oh, sorry, I s forgot to put the heater back. Hold on.
Okay, so uh, we need to, to wait for the heat, uh, the heater to heat up. Should be too, too long. Okay. So we start scan. So now I'm going to touch the uh, negative uh, uh, output to ground. Okay, we can see the output is erroneous, but after I release the, uh, uh, I disconnect the negative uh, output from ground, the uh, the curve is normal again. So uh, the uh, protection circuit inside the, within the negative supply is uh, supplied by the device I use, uh, the solid state relay SSR device I use. Uh, the device itself has a, a current limit uh, clamped at uh, two, uh, 250 milliamp. And I also have a, a fuse there. It's a, it's a 500 milliamp uh, face blow uh, fuse. So uh, if something happened to the, uh, the, the SSR, the fuse again will provide the uh, uh, another layer of protection for the uh, uh, P uh, uh, PC PCB. Okay, now let's move the uh, to the um, high voltage supply. So this is the uh, output of the high voltage. Uh, let's start the uh, curve scan. Okay, so we can wait for the voltage to to uh, to to become a little higher, like um, maybe above, I don't know, uh, 200 volts. Okay, so now I'm going to touch the output, uh, short the output to ground. Okay, so we'll see the uh, uh, the the, uh, the program will stop tracing at uh, this point because uh, the overcurrent will make the calculation of the uh, the total power exceed uh, the allowed power of one watt for twelve ax seven. Okay, so um, the uh, 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 each tracer come with a uh, overcurrent protection in the high voltage supply. Um, I uh, I claim the uh, the cur output current at uh, uh, around 400 milliamp, uh, yes 400 milliamp, and uh, there is also a fuse, uh, a 500 milliamp slow bow. It's a very expensive one because uh, um, it's a high voltage uh, fuse. So it's like uh, I don't know six bucks for for uh, each, and there I use two for uh, for both uh, high voltage outputs. So this for uh, protection circuits are very uh, basic. It protects the output uh, from sh uh, uh, short to the ground. And also I have uh, um, uh, put a lot of uh, dials in the output of the four supplies to avoid uh, the cross connections uh, of uh, the outputs between the outputs. For example, uh, someone, someone might uh, accidentally uh, short the uh, high voltage output to the uh, negative output or uh, or shorting short the uh, negative output to the uh, uh, filament output or you know the combination of it so um, um, there's a, a shortcoming with that approach because uh, uh, for example I have a uh, um, diode connected to the output of the heater supply so that's why we need the compensation uh, uh, Value here. I need to compens compensate the uh, the voltage drop of the diode, and also there is uh, also uh, a diode in the high voltage output. So uh, in the program, I need to uh, compensate that as well. But um, overall, this kind of uh, uh, um, hardware uh, protection architecture is, I believe, it's uh, it's mandatory. We cannot. Uh, uh, we, we cannot afford without uh, without them. Okay, so uh, I think uh, the, uh, the the protector key in the HRC is very complete and it makes the uh, the uh, tester really robust. So uh, I hope you liked my video. I will see you next time.